Hey guys, today we're going to be drawing this cute dog and a flower pot. This is a loose style of watercolor that I don't really present often on my channel, so I hope you guys find it useful and fun. For today's tutorial, I'll be using the Sublime watercolor pack and the vintage canvas. Everything will be linked below. I've drawn a sketch for the little pooch, so you guys can download it and insert it like this. Once you go to the layers panel, you can see the sketch there. Let's make a new layer so that we can start to color. And I'm going to start off with a very light pink because we're going to start painting the flowers first. And I'll be using the soft edge round brush. We don't have a sketch for the flower pot, so it will be a loose style, and it certainly does not have to look perfect. So the first step here is to make gentle strokes like this to draw the flower bud. I'm going to draw two more flower buds on the side. Right now, I just think that the bigger flower is just a little too far away from the other two, so I'm just going to select that one and move it closer to the other two. Then I'm going to select a slightly darker pink and make some strokes on top of these buds. So these flowers are going to be really easy. Um, you just keep on adding bolder colors on top of these layers and then use the basic blender to blend out any harsh edges. So right now I'm just adding like darker pinks and then I'll eventually blend them out. Now we can just grab the basic blender and start to blend out these lines so that the flower looks a lot more soft and more natural. Now we can make a new layer and make that a clipping mask. And I'm going to add some stamps to the top of the flower. And I'll choose this one right here. And you can just tap on the top. This is just to make the flower have more watermarks. Now let's make a new layer so that we can start to paint the leaves and the stem. And after choosing a light green, I'm going to go back to my soft edge round brush and start to just freely draw the stem. Because this is a freestyle, there is no right or wrong, and I kind of want to make it a bit comical, so we'll see how that will go. You can already see that the flowers look way too big compared to the dog, so it's not certainly a realistic kind of a painting. Sometimes it's good to be spontaneous and not really have a sketch because you might end up with something very special rather than something very neat and clean. So just like the flowers, you paint the leaves with little strokes and it's going to look very loose as well. Right now, I'm pretty happy with how it's looking, so I'm just going to merge all of these layers together. But I do think that the flowers look way too big compared to the dog, so I'm going to resize it. 
you can just select the flower layer and move it near the dog. Now we're going to make a new layer so that we can draw a pot. And I'm going to use the bold medium brush. And I've selected a caramel-like color. And you just roughly draw a pot. And it doesn't have to look perfect. I'm going to draw a small rectangle. Once you've drawn the base, you can make a new layer and make that a clipping mask and select a slightly dark brown and we're going to use the stamps again and I'll use splotch this time and just tap on the right side because we're going to pretend that the shadow is on the right side. I'm just going to draw a line here so that we can see like a shadow there. Once you're happy, you can just merge these layers together. And I'm going to bring down the opacity just because it looks too bold. Now it's time to color our dog. So I'm going to make a new layer. And you can select any color, but I'm going to select this light beige. And we're going to be using the bold medium brush again and start coloring the dog very roughly. It's best to paint the dog in one stroke so that you don't have to use the blender to smooth out the overlaps. Your hands might hurt a little bit, but it's all worth it. Now that I'm looking back on this, I think that the pot should have been drawn a bit longer as it's looking very shallow, but it does look comical, right? <laughs> now our dog is fully colored and we can now make a new layer and then we're going to select a slightly darker brown and we're just going to paint the nose and color in the collar. I'm using pink. Let's go back to the dog layer and make a new layer on top. And I'm going to select a caramel-like color close to what we had before and then paint over some areas areas that will have some shadows and this is just all a guess because again this is a comical painting it doesn't have to be perfect So we'll draw some strokes along the back and the bottom because these areas are going to be a lot more darker than the sides that are receiving the light. Now we'll use the basic blender to smooth out these lines. Not all of it has to be smoothed out because real watercolor tends to have these hard edges so you don't have to smooth out every single one of them. If you're happy with how your dog is looking, you can merge these two layers together. And then we'll make a new layer on top and make that a clipping mask. And then we're going to use one of the stamps. I'm going to use splotch and select a slightly dark brown. And I'm going to just tap in some areas that will have shadows. And these are really great because they add a bit of that watercolor feel. It's like 
adding watermarks. It's really fun to play around with these stamps because they make things so easy. Now that we've added shadows, we're going to make a new layer and I'm going to select a very dark brown and we're going to use the toothy pencil and draw in his eyes. Now let's see how it looks like without the sketch layer. Just deselect that layer and there you have it. So I think I would like to fix the size of the flower so I'm going to merge the pot and the flower together and select that and just move it and resize it at the same time. It still looks a bit funny so I'm just going to reverse the size and just move it. As a final step, I'm going to add in some shadows using a light grey. Basically, you just paint some strokes on the bottom of the dog and the pot and blend using the basic blender. So that's it guys. This was a fairly easy tutorial, so I hope you guys had fun with it. If you have enjoyed this tutorial, please subscribe and hit the notification bell. Thank you so much for watching and see you in the next one.